Can we pray? Lord, thank you for this Pathfinder Sabbath day. Thank you for being with us thus far. We ask you to continue to bless us and that we get something out of this message today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Uh, we, wait. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 through 2, I'm going to read you the hearing from the NIV version. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witness, let us throw off everything that hinders and sin. Everything throw that hinders in the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, to fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him. He endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of God, throne of God. Um, I can remember heading down the hallway after school and talking to a friend who went on about on about a game that he just gotten for Christmas. So um, I wanted to see the game. We headed straight for the computer lab, and he walked in. He clicked on the icon on the computer that I had not noticed in the heaven until now. After a few clicks, it was on the screen. There was a bunch of blocks and more rocks. At first, I thought it was a math game, but he said no. And I started playing the game, and before I knew it, it was game over. After a few more false starts, I got the hang of it, and I started give, trying to figure out how I would survive the game. I started with little structures and underground bases that provided shelter. The thought of making my own space in a virtual world was intriguing but challenging. No matter how hard I got, I wanted to keep on trying to see it through. The vision that was in my mind would one day be a reality. W I spent more time than I probably should have, but sometimes that's what it takes to see things through, right? It's easy to stick with things that are challenging when it's also fun. Um, like trying to get to the next level of game, skateboarding, or making new friends. However, there are many stories in the Bible about pressing through a challenging time that, is, that was fun. But because it's not fun doesn't mean it's not worth doing. Doing difficult things can be rewarding, even if it's not fun. I will quickly share three things we learn about the, in the Bible from persevering. In our scripture for today, Paul reminds us that the journey we, each, we are each on is different. We have our own race to run. Life is going to have many ups and downs, but we cannot let that discourage or even lure us from what we know is waiting for us ahead. Jesus is our greatest example. Endure the cost and its shame. That did, not, that did not deter him. He focused on what was ahead, the joy of being at the right hand of his Father God. There are many great examples in, where the Bible, in the Bible where people of God were going through difficult situations in their lives, and they kept going. They overcame challenges by following God's lead and refusing to give up. They kept holding on to the end because their focus was not on the situation, but on their outcome that was possible with God. They persevered. Jesus persevered when he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights, enduring the temptation by the evil one, by leaning on his knowledge of scriptures. In Matthew chapter 4, 1 through 4, um, we learn that reading and memorizing scripture is the way we can protect ourselves against the devil's schemes. Apostle Paul reminds us in Ephesians chapter 6 to put on the whole armor of God and to stay prayerful. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, we learn to pray all the time all the times of the day, to pray when things are going well and when things are not going so well. We must have a strong prayer life for God's strength to push through the obstacles and hurdles to finish strong. Your positive outlook on life when things are hard is something that you can share with your friends to encourage them. Lastly, Christ will reward us if we persevere into the end. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 12 to 13, in Revelation chapter 22, Verse 14, we see that if we endure all the trials and tribulations um, of this life, we will be rewarded of, for our perseverance. That will be great, and we will be able to walk through the gates of heaven. We can show perseverance every day by pressing through even though when we don't want to. We just have to focus on the fact that anything is possible with God. So to keep memorizing scripture and go a strong, and go a strong connection with God now so that you continue to develop your fruits. Stay prayerful and let's trust God through Jesus that he will help us complete our task on earth 
that we can be in heaven with him very soon. Okay, let do you guys want to close out in prayer? Prayer. Thank you.